<laughs> Good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, live and in color from Cloudcroft, New Mexico, or about five miles from downtown Cloudcroft, New Mexico, on a cool morning. Temperature inside here is probably about, I don't know, let me look. It is about 60 degrees inside this building right here. But anyway, guys, uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now. So if there's anything you want to do, you better be doing it because, see, I've already lived in this house. Let's see, I, I, I got moved in here the first day on the 20th, so the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, fourth day. Okay, you hear me? And, and time just goes zipping by, so... Get busy doing, you know what I mean? Anyway, had some visitors yesterday from, actually they're from Lubbock, but now they're traveling in the fifth wheel. Good morning, Kelly and Renee. Uh, they came by and visited for a while. And uh, anyway, they're staying, uh, I can't remember where they're staying, somewhere near Cloudcroft, over the mountain somewhere. But anyway, good morning. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for the visit. And enjoy your life one day at a time. Uh, yeah, I've been living in RV a long time, as most of you know. And, uh, hey, Google, tell us a joke. What do clouds wear under their shorts? Thunderpants. Thunderpants. <laughs> uh, as I was eating breakfast, I started thinking about all the problems I faced in my life. Suddenly, I grabbed a knife and my box of raisin bran and began stabbing it again and again until it lay in shreds on the table before me. And then I realized what I had become. A serial killer. <laughs> boo, hiss, boo, hiss, boo. Anyway, I, they're not biggies, but they're kind of cute. Having said that, what else? Uh, let me think. Uh, let's get this thing out of the way. Okay. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Cloudcroft, New Mexico? The current temperature in Cloudcroft is 53 degrees. Thank you. There's currently a... Well, it says a flash flood warning, but that's all... Let me see. That would be uh, southwest of us, <clears throat> mostly around uh, El Paso, actually, and they don't get much rain. But anyway, what else have we got here? That's about it, guys. Anyway, for the noon video, I'll do something. I I've got something. Oh, let's see. What was it? I don't know. I'll, I'll come up with something. Anyway, guys. Moving right along to Adam Men 740. Thank you. This is on the Toyota Prius fuse box location. Yeah, it's hard to find, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I did that video to help people that had Priuses. I actually wasn't camping uh, several months over a five-year period in a Toyota Prius. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> try that one, guys. Yeah, that. Yeah, for a fi over a five-year period, I I slept in a Prius probably a year. Anyway, a cat with no name says LOL. That was on the Plant Lives Matter. Uh, this is Avlisk. It says, here's an electric Sparky I thought you may find interesting from TFL. And he left a link to it. I'll check it out later, Avlisk. Thank you. Hell, mine gets 48 miles a gallon. So I'm not complaining. This is Francine Jacobson. Uh, congratulations. What a great birthday present. I enjoyed your tour. Yeah, I'm glad you did. I, I'm enjoying living here. I've got a few little minor issues, but you know, I, I don't think you can live even in an RV. I mean, you got all these little things that happen. Most of the things in an RV are water leaks, you know, and this thing's been here. This thing is, it's a 1994. I'll tell you what it is. Uh, where did I put my note? <laughs> oh, it's over there in that basket. I won't get it. But anyway, it's a 1994 Holiday Rambler. 31 footer. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's it's plenty uh, roomy and the floors are good and everything. So anyway, moving right along. Uh, Cheryl Wright, looking better and better on the Cloudcrawl place, my here home. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it I've got it pretty well uh, organized. I still need to do a little cleaning. Seems like it never ends. A uh, cat with no name, very nice, sir. Amazing views. Yeah, that's it, baby. That what did Rusty buy? He bought the views. In this big room, I guess. But yeah, it was worth it to me. Uh, RV living with the geezer, or Rusty, the fitting to winterize the RVs is called the a blowout plug, okay? They sell them at Walmart in the RV section. 
hooks to the center water in it. Just don't pump more than 30 PSI. Works great. Okay, thank you, RV Living. Appreciate your input there. There's actually some people here in the RV park that do it for 40 bucks. So I think I may just, I mean, even though it doesn't take long, I may just have them do it one time and watch them, see what, what it is. This is my birthday gift. Linda Golden says, wish you'd share the land rental cost and the landlord's info as I've seen, as I'd love to see if there's additional options available. There's none, Linda, none. There's, only, there's one option. That's it. And you, you can contact them. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, I, I can't remember the name of the place now. What a spectacular view, and it, there's nothing available now anyway, and uh, there's none for sale right now, none. Uh, and, and that's the only way you get in here. You can't bring your own RV or any of that stuff. But anyway, what a particular spectacular view and beautiful porch to relax on. It would appear you've happened upon a terrific deal. Well, you know, it, it, it is what it is, you know, I mean, it's okay. Do you think you'll try staying year-round? No, I can just imagine watching... Uh, snowfall across that awesome landscape. Well, I can imagine that too, but somebody else is going to have to see it. I can imagine it. Anyway, thank you. Yeah, it's got a good heating system. Yeah, the furnace works. It's got a couple of electric heaters, but it would be, you know, when it got down to in the zeros, uh, yeah, it'd be, it, <laughs> it'd be cool. Uh, Ralph P., morning all. I agree with the premise that people make their own luck. That comment you made, Rusty, about your ashes rolling down the highway was funny. Well, it's true. I mean, I, you know, who knows? Just blowing in the wind, so to speak. And, you know, Sarah J. Oh, Rusty, just, this is perfect. Happy late birthday and so happy for you. Thank you very much, Sarah. Boondocking with Dennis. Greetings from Twisted Pines Farm, Arkansas. Now he's moving along. Dennis is on the road, guys. So check his channel out, Boondocking with Dennis. Carl H., Trying to catch up, Rusty. Looks like your new view. Looks like your new studio suits you. Congrats. Well, it's okay. I mean, all this shelving was here. I didn't do that. And this uh, IME 88 sent me this from Hawaii. And uh, and I've got the little it back there. And oh, this right here, this is oxygen. That's a little oxygen bottle that, the, that was left here. It was brand new. And uh, I, I took a shot of it. It didn't do anything for me. <laughs> I mean, you know, but, you know who knows? Uh, anyway, Dare Trixa, good Friday morning, sir. Good Friday morning to you, Dare Trixa. Shelly Sizemore, uh, uh, LOL, Rusty. I didn't entertain. I don't entertain, but I could stand there and look at myself, I guess. Well, it's true. I mean, it's hard to look at yourself, but can you turn your eyes backwards? Sure you can. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. Thank you, Shelly. Lisa K., Happy birthday, Rusty. This is a fabulous gift to give yourself. You bet it is. I, I deserve it. I deserve it. World owes it to me. Dennis the Hut. Rusty, do you think your sons and grandson will come to see your new place? Uh, well, I don't know. My, I, well, one, my oldest boy said he's coming up uh, on Labor Day weekend. It's about a 10-hour drive. Mary Yo, nice place there. It just goes to show you boys and girls, if you work hard in life, you too can buy a beat up shack in the mountains. Oh, that's so nice, Mary. <laughs> you know, I ain't going to say it. I, I'm not going to feed you my pills, but I understand. Uh, Joey Benson, blowing smoke again, aren't you? Yeah, here's another little tongue in cheek deal there on driving the uh, Class C. You know, what it is, you know, sometimes, I don't know if people get jealous or what, but, you know, they just want to stick you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it It just, anyway, that's people. I mean, if you can't stand the heat, don't go in the kitchen. And believe me, YouTube is a hot kitchen. Uh, Micah B., they they has a program in the 70s for Dragonfly drones that had a microphone and could record conversations. Imagine what they have now. Yeah, they got gnats. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm really worried about it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a uh, conspiracy theory kind of guy, you know, because I'm 76 years old, man. Uh, and, and people have been worried about the world ending uh, for, uh, I guess, 5,000 years or more. Stroker Ace, congratulations, Rusty. Dang, you hit the jackpot. I, I feel good about it. I mean, I feel good being here. I like the people in the area. They're real friendly. And, uh, yeah, they, they check on things. They check on you. You know, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good spot. I'm pleased. It, for, yeah, because most of the people here are my age. Uh, most of them are older, believe it or not. But, uh you know, they, they're, they're busy. I mean, they are. I mean, these people, 
they are busy. Kelly Rex Road, very nice place. It was a pleasure to visit with you this afternoon. Uh, thank you for your time and generosity. Well, that was, that's one of them. That's one of the visitors, Kelly. Well, good luck to you, Kelly. Wish you all the best. You forgot the birdhouse. <laughs> William Crawford uh, can't be older than dirt. They are made of dirt. Uh, White Oaks, New Mexico. Okay, very good, William. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, Chris Buchanan, what a view. Wonderful. The cool, that, that cool temperature sounds wonderful for the summer. Lovely deck. Yeah, it'll, it'll work for six or seven, six months, seven months a year. Yeah, and then back to Texas somewhere. And eventually I may build a cabin in Lano and then just drive back and forth and not have an RV. But I'm in no hurry. I mean, I, uh, you know, I, I'm just taking it one day at a time, guys. I mean, I, I have a, uh, I have, I know what outcomes I want to to happen. I just need to figure out how to get there, <laughs> you know. 63 Connie, uh, glad you found a new place. Nice view and very private. What more could one want? Uh, nothing's a good thing to want. I, I, I don't want anything. I, I just want the water leaks to go away, and the only way to get rid of them is for me to do something, right? Tony John, why April to October? Are you required HOA to leave? Maybe the snow and cold. I don't get it. Uh, I, I I do. It's just the rules. You know, it's the way it is. Uh, gardening with Albert. Is it time for an oil change so soon? Well, I changed it at 5,000 miles uh, just because it was the first oil change. And, you know, it's, it's good to do the first oil change early in any vehicle, in my opinion. Your rig is very new with uh, with the newer oils. I drive my van well over 3,000 miles. Well, that's good. I mean, I had 5,000 miles. People talked about an oil change every 1,000 miles. Uh, you don't need to do that. I mean, in fact, my next oil change is probably eight or 10,000 miles. Who knows? Uh, Adam Richardson, I love to see the extra pep in your step, Rusty. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the, cool, the cool temperatures are a real uh, motivator. You know, I mean, you, you just feel good all day because you can wear a light jacket like I'm wearing this right now because it's cool in here. I don't have a heater on. I could turn it on and raise the temperature pretty quick. But I don't. I mean, I like it cool. It's cool. this is camping to me. I mean, I'm I, I am continually camping. That's it. You know, even when I get a cabin, I'll just be cabin camping or whatever. Scotty Thompson, cool video, talk rusty. Thank you. And then we got Linda Crawford. <clears throat> Says RVing is fun and can be freeing and economical, but having something of your own is also thrilling. Congratulations. As we all get older, <clears throat> living in a place of our own as a base camp or home is security too. Yeah, predictability is security. You know, if you know where everything is in the community, where to get all, you know, gas and, and food and stuff, you know, and you know the shortcuts to get there, you know, that that's security. You feel good doing that. And, and I'll eventually get there here. Get there here. Did you get that? Camping therapy. <clears throat> Why not store the RV right there in, in the carport? Because you can't. Uh, sunny roses. How awesome is this find? Awesome, Rusty. Well, it's okay. I mean, and it was pure, not pure accident, but yeah, I'd, I'd looked in here uh, every year for the past two or three years. You know, I mean, I'd seen some for sale and drove over here and looked at them. And uh, one time that it sold before I drove over here. The other time it was still here, but it was in a location I didn't like. You know, there was no view. I mean, there's there's a hundred of these places in here, man. And, uh, you know, some of them are right in the middle of the trees and stuff, and or some of them are really close together. So, you know, this just happened to be a good one at a good time. I mean, and that's the way it is. <clears throat> Timing. Uh, Paul Byram, second, buy some pistachios and wine for some observation time deck, observation deck time, Rusty. Pismo, Paul. I may do that. You know, they're, they're good. I, they're okay. I've eaten them. I mean, they're not super. I, I've got them, some mixed nuts <clears throat> that work for me right now. Anyway, this is Laura Marty. What a great place. Thank you. Uh, this is Pilot Diana. Holy cow, congratulations. OMG, what a great gift to yourself. Just an amazing view. Yep, I would spend my entire day out on that deck. Well, I pretty I spend a lot of time out there for sure. Uh, I don't watch much. I, I, did, I have noticed that since I've moved up here the past three, four days, that I've hardly ever turned the TV on even to watch YouTube videos. And... Uh, yeah, it's got a little, I don't know what size TV it is. It looks like maybe a 36-inch, 40-inch, whatever it is. But it's okay. It's a smart TV, a Vizio. Yo. Anyway, Steve Wheatley, 
I hope that I hope she doesn't have any engine trouble, etc. Most women can't work on things like that. That was on, on a road trek uh, out at uh, a lady named Darlene, and that was at Oliver Lee State Park probably three years ago. Uh, anyway, Pamela Van Delden. Rusty, what state is this? New Mexico. Cloudcroft. Uh, William Crawford. It's New Mexico. If it's if it's 70, people go 90. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, well, that's true everywhere. I mean, that's just, that's the way they, I don't even know why they put speed limit signs up. You know, in Interstate 10, you know, there's sections that the speed limit's 80 and people will pass you going 110, you know. But that's fine. You know, people make their own choices. I'm, I'm a people and I do me and that's it. Uh, this is Sherry Matulip, I guess. When can I move in? Ha ha. Yeah, well, yeah, ha ha is right. <laughs> TB. Uh, Rusty buys some non-ethanol gas for the generator and small motors. Helps with the gum up in the carb. Happy, happy things are working out. Uh, well, the only thing is on that uh, non-ethanol gas, uh, the generator runs off the fuel in the gas tank of the RV, <clears throat> and that non-ethanol gas is expensive. Or it is here. Uh, RO says how much or around how much. Uh, uh, for the for the place here, uh, I don't know. I, I'll reserve that. You you you, you know it, it's it's not much, guys. I mean, let me see. What can I say? It's two it's two Sparkies. <laughs> How's that, Nature Girl? I'm confused. Are you leasing or did you? I, I, I'm lease. I'm leasing the property and bought everything above ground, and and that's how they do everything here. And I've known about it for years. It's a good spot. A lot of people have been coming here for 30 or 40 years. Why? Because it's a good spot, you know, and they don't leave. Their kids take over their spot, you know, and, and that tells you something, doesn't it? Uh, it's, no, it's, it's, a, it's a good value. Uh, da, I would rather, you know, have a deed, but, you, you know, what I want and get sometimes ain't the same thing. Uh, it says, Rusty, you have a champagne view on a beer budget. That's, a, that's a, that, very true. I, I actually I, I have beer on a beer budget. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, we'll do a few more here. Steve Wheatley, since you're at high altitude, do some research on Astra Exanthin. It helps with blood oxygen and a host of other issues. Well, so far, I haven't had any issues. You know, I'm okay. <clears throat> you know, it's kind of like going to a doctor because you don't feel good. Uh, well, that's your choice. Uh, I try to figure out why I don't feel good and fix it myself. I <laughs> mean, you know. Anyway, this is Barbara Samar. You see me wiping my nose, don't you? I hope you do, because that'll be the lead video picture for the video. Uh, anyway, Barbara Samar, uh, more more sure you cover up the line to your toilet, or make sure we put a towel around to keep from freezing. We live in East Tennessee. Yeah, well, here we winterize them. We just take all the water out of the lines and put a little... Uh, antifreeze and, and the drains, you know, where it makes the loop, and that's it. Hilton McLaurin, contemporary painter. What a beautiful spot to sit and paint. Yeah, if I, I, I was a painter, I mean, I can draw stick men and stuff, but that's about it. Anyway, we'll do three more. Uh, Jimmy and Kathy Harrell, congratulations, beautiful place. Uh, Scott E. Thompson, any rain this weekend at New Mexico, Rusty? I don't know. I, the weekend hadn't got here yet, Scotty. That's Scotty, the mask bowler from Wisconsin, and here's Steve Wheatley. That Google Assistant is amusing, ain't it? I tried to make it talk dirty, but it won't go for it. LOL. Well, that's okay, Steve. Keep back on the meds. And then uh, Adam Richardson, congrats, Rusty. I'm so happy for you. You deserve it. Thank you. And then Donking Donkey, good idea about the wood. Thanks. This is on the camping in the uh, pickup. Uh, I don't know why I said something about wood. I don't know what it was. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, guys, from... Uh, Near Cloudcroft on a cool morning. All mornings are cool here. It's in the 50s outside somewhere. Uh, but be, uh, but anyway, uh, what else? Uh, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. You just click on the link in the description. Go to Amazon. Buy whatever you choose. I know it's an extra step. And if you don't want to fool with it, don't. Some of you are. Some of you are using it. And I appreciate it very much. Pat yourself on the back. Appreciate it. Anyway, what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. You know what I mean? As in snack. 
And the only way to lose weight and keep it off, eat less. That's it. There's no tricks. All these fat, fad diets are all BS. You know it and I know it. You know, just eat less. You'll be fine. <clears throat> and you can't exercise it off. You know, you walk two or three miles, you burn 150, 200 calories, and then you pack your body full of three during the day. Duh. You know, intake and exhaust, you know, do the math. And anyway, what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. Do it several times a day. And then what else? Stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, <clears throat> healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. How about that? Huh? You know what I mean? And if that's the case, why not add good ingredients? Ta-da! Genius, huh? Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Why? Because it's the negativity from the entire universe brought to you by professional talking heads that that argue about how negative it is, and then and, and their job is to get in your head, because if they don't, they're fired. Okay, that's it. But what, do you, what should you do? Read it. Read the news if you've got to get a dose of negativity. Read it. It takes all the emotion out of it. Okay? And then what else? Uh, you, you can do your own research. That's a good idea. And then what else? Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until next time, the noon video, which will be, I don't know. Anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.